Happy Sunday morning. I started my day this morning at 6 a.m. I'm doing uh, pickups and prep all day today. It's uh, We're two weeks out from Thanksgiving. The week of Thanksgiving, I didn't work at all. And then the following week, I only had one shoot day. Today's my day to round up and prep all year for the entire week. One of the beautiful things about having a relationship with the same suppliers is can often get extra days on equipment just to uh, make it all work. So for example, today I am picking up a Vericam 35 package to shoot some broadcast promos on Monday. And then because I'm working again Tuesday, I might not be able to return that thing until Wednesday. But uh, since I got a good relationship going there and they don't need the camera Tuesday, I may be able to get a little grace there and get that extra day to fit my schedule. Greasy spoon breakfast, my favorite way to start a Sunday. After the very cam job, my next shoot is an Amira job shooting executives on green screen. It's for a corporate conference. Uh, it's a job I do every year. We shoot these little roll-in bits. So um, we'll get like the CEO and some of the other board members doing something goofy. And then they'll play that up on stage to kick off. So I already got that camera package in the back. I'm going to shoot that on the Amira 4K UHD, uh, just Rec. 709. And with the uh, ENG zoom, I'm going to use my Canon 17 to 120. And then in parallel to that, I've got my other Amira out on a sub rental. It's on, a, I think it's a four camera show. It's, um, and that's a two day job. So I am um, rounding that up as well. That's actually uh, up in LA. So I'm, uh, I gotta go pick that one up to prep it. And I'm gonna hustle and drop that off in advance of their shoot, which is midweek. Let's see, let's see. And then my day on Wednesday, uh, oh, Wednesday, I'm down in San Diego. Uh, we're gonna be shooting locomotive engines. And that job, we're, uh, we're permitted, we have permission and all that, but uh, we need to be very agile and fluid. So we're gonna shoot on the uh, Ronin S uh, with the Pocket 6K camera. This will be my first gimbal-based shoot with the Blackmagic 6K Pocket Cam. I did some prep on my kitchen table yesterday with my son. I just bought one of those Nucleus N follow focus units because my Bartek is just too heavy for that uh, gimbal. And uh, seems to work pretty well. I'm a little nervous whenever I like new gimbal stuff and cables, particularly HDMI and uh, USB cables for video and power. It's like that's the stuff that breaks when you're out there in the field. So I'm rounding up those components today as well. The gimbal, the camera, we're gonna shoot on a 16 to 35 EF lens and I'm gonna drop all of that off at my camera assistant's house. Uh, he's got some time on Monday to prep all of that, get it balanced and you know, fault check everything and make sure we're gonna be good to go on Wednesday. And then my next shoot is uh, a continuation of the job last week. It's, um, it's a commercial for a local uh, or a regional credit union, and we're shooting interviews with bankers and lenders and uh, I think some client profiles as well. So that's uh, two cameras, C300s, my Mark 1s. I haven't used those in a while. They've been sitting, and uh, they actually have been sitting so long, the internal clock batteries are dead. So I had to, last week, open those up and uh, get the menus all reset and uh, configure them. We just shot 1080 in uh, the log mode. Those cameras are a little funky shooting log. It's hard to uh, get an accurate LUT out. I, uh, I use my Flanders scientific monitor with the Canon LUT and it's uh, reasonably accurate, although I don't like how that LUT in that monitor, it's like a hard clip on the highlights. So even though the camera's holding, like it doesn't have a, a gentle roll off. So that always makes me nervous when I glance in that and see a window or some shiny object in frame and it's just like this ugly clip. But in most cases, it's uh, salvageable in the edit with a minimal effort. So man, I'm so happy to be back to work. Two weeks, uh, one day of work and two weeks and a holiday, you know, spending money with the family and everything and not uh, out there earning always makes me nervous. I start second guessing every time I have a slow spell, even though it's predictable. And uh, time has proven that it always comes back, it ebbs and flows. So anyway, I'm glad it's back and busy. Maybe I'll do a midweek check-in here if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of my week. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please uh, leave some comments below.